We're getting a closer look inside the mind of Sarah Boone, the woman accused of murdering her boyfriend by zipping him up into a suitcase. In another series of handwritten letters sent from jail, Boone calls out her defense attorney, arguing she hasn't heard from him in months as her case inches closer to trial. She also sends a message to the presiding judge saying, quote, my case has turned into an unnecessary witch hunt and later asks, quote, what's your cut? For everything you've done to me. Sarah. For everything you've done to me. Sarah. Fuck you. Sarah. Fuck you. Sarah. <laughs> Stupid. Sarah. That's my name. Don't wear it up. Florida prosecutors say the 44-year-old murdered her boyfriend, 42-year-old Jorge Torres Jr., in February 2020 by putting him in a suitcase and leaving him there to die. At the time, Boone told investigators she and Torres had been drinking and playing a game of hide-and-seek. After that, Boone says she went to sleep and woke up hours later when her phone rang. That's when she says she found Torres unresponsive. Officials say Torres was zipped inside the suitcase for hours. Shocking cell phone video was later released showing Boone speaking to Torres while he was inside that suitcase. As Long Crime Network previously reported, Boone sent multiple handwritten letters to her court-appointed defense attorney, Frank Bankowitz, asking for a clearer path of communication. In a story Long Crime Network posted in March, Boone wrote, quote, I've exhausted my resources and am again just sitting here waiting for you to contact me in whatever way you are able and as soon as possible, please. At the time, we noted the letter was seemingly missing a sentence or possibly even pages. In one of Boone's most recent letters, dated April 6th, she seemingly references the missing pages and a report, writing in part, quote, the enclosed letter I sent, 3-22-23, was scanned incorrectly on the clerk's website, only the first and third page, so I am resending with nothing on the backs to avoid confusion, and were missed previously. Thank you for reading my entire letter and uploading correctly for all the world to read. Also critique and judge wrongly and incorrectly as usual. Ignorance is bliss. Boone goes on to write, quote, I wonder what platform of popularity I will be featured on next and how much wasted time, effort, and thought will be put into mutating and grossly exaggerating my case information racketeered to the World Wide Web, SMH, or shaking my head. She ends that portion of the letter saying, shout out to my supporters with a heart drawn next to it. She signs the letter, hopeful no matter what. In Boone's most recent letter, dated May 15th, she addresses both the case's judge, Wayne C. Wooten, and attorney Frank Bankowitz. She writes to Judge Wooten in part, quote, My truth needs to be heard, and it is my right. Do not give me rights expecting me not to fully utilize them. I voted for the president and governor while here in jail and stop violating what I've been trying to utilize or less the value of my capabilities and opportunities. I am not apologetic in any way for being an observant, hardworking, above average, non-stereotypical inmate. I can only imagine sadly how others not as outspoken as myself have been and are being mistreated, overlooked, and dehumanized. She writes in all caps, get it together. She continues, quote, when I've tried to voice my legitimate concerns to you in the courtroom, five times total in 3.3 years, and in my letters to quote, save it for my next attorney if told anything at all. Do tell your honor, which attorney? According to the letter, Boone's representation has switched six times for both irreconcilable differences between the attorney and client and conflicts of interest. In this portion of the letter, she writes out a list of statistics for Judge Wooten, pointing out, court-appointed attorney Frank Bankowitz has answered zero of her phone calls, over more than 7,000 hours of representation. Boone later writes, quote, are you allowing slash enabling my constitutional rights to be continuously violated? Boone then writes out what she calls a history lesson for everyone, referencing amendments she feels are appropriate to highlight. She continues, quote, why are you allowing numerous case safety and protection elements to be breached, violated, manipulated? Why has a gag order never been implemented? 
My case has turned into an unnecessary witch hunt from the innumerable violations of my case details being leaked and racketeering illegally in exchange for website hits, viewer ratings, etc. in exchange for, and she writes three money symbols. What is your cut, your honor? It's not even about the suitcase anymore. My case is now a global event with the video receiving over 3 million hits depending on the website, in turn making me realize that's over 3 million less unprejudiced, unbiased, non-discriminatory, fair jurors I will have access to on my case. How is that going to work? Now what? Boone then addresses Bankowitz, saying their last meeting was February 15th. She writes to Bankowitz in part, quote, Please see from my perspective the botched, eye-rolling experience I am going through still and how I believe anyone would act or do if in my slides doing the same. What would you do? Do not fault me in trying to make the best, most successful outcome possible for myself in every aspect in the convoluted predicament I am in and have been in over the last 3.3 years. I would rather be called a narcissist, pain in the explicative, arrogant, strange, or whatever else anyone wants to waste their time to think of, just don't call me a murderer, which I am not. No one knows me except for the ludicrous insanity that's been made up, mocked, edited, and spewed all over the internet. It's not me. Boone is due back in court on July 11th for a pretrial hearing. Right now, her case is expected to go to trial on July 24th. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.